Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Ron Gen 1080p. This is a Red Dead Online trinket video. I'm going to be going over all the trinkets and a location for the material that you need for this video. So, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, make sure you drop a like down. But I'm going to go be going over all the trinkets. A, a difficult thing about this, I'm going to keep repeating it throughout the video, is very hard for your jewelry because they changed a lot up inside of the. the, the the, the collector role they changed a lot of that up so now it's going to be harder for you to find that jewelry that you need so if you find a map online or something like that or a video they're not the same it's like randomly generated and but when you want to uh, have the when you get the material that you need you want to sell it to him so you can use it yes you have to sell it you just can't go straight to it you have to sell it to him first so you know I have to sell uh, after I sell them all of my material I'm going to, going to go over each material, I mean each trinket, then I'm going to show you guys the locations. First, I'm going to read the benefits, show you guys the location of the animal that you need, and also where you possibly can find your jewelry piece. It's not going to be there. It's more than most likely, it's not going to be there for you. But you do have to look around because they, they nerfed it. Like I said, I'm going to be repeating this throughout the video. All right, the first one we're going to go over is the beaver tooth trinket. It permanently slows, like, the degradation of all your weapons. So, like, they won't get as dirty as fast. That'll slow down by 10%, $795. I'm going to get into the location of your animal and also where you possibly can find your jewelry. For your jewelry piece location, I have red markers throughout the map, not the whole map, just the far right side. This is not all possible spawn locations, but it's very, very difficult because with the naturalist row update, they nerf the uh, the location. So they're not just one set. It's like a number of different things can spawn in these locations. So you probably won't find it. You probably will, but you're going to find something. You have to have the metal detector as well. They go two locations right here. You just go in these areas. It depends on what cycle you want too. So try to figure out what day you want. I think this is day cycle one. They go two mode locations. The red markers. You pull out your metal detector and come in these areas. Remember, you may not find them here, but you will find something. But you probably won't find the piece that you're looking for. So if you don't have it, this is the hunt you need to go on. This is for day cycle one. I forgot how you figure out what day cycle you are on. But let me move on to the next trinket. The buck antler trinket. Primarily, uh, players have a higher chance of receiving better quality pelts and skins from animals in perfect condition. It increases the chances, you know, you have a higher chance of receiving it. $775. I'm going to get into the location of your animal. And also the possible spawn possibility for your uh, jewelry.
Now let's move on to the Javelin Tusk Trinket. Permanently increased player horse bonding rate by 10%. So you have a horse you can start to bond with and it increased by 10% is 500 bucks. I want to get into your Javelin Tusk location and also your uh, jewelry piece location, possible jewelry piece location. For your jewelry piece location, I have red markers throughout the map, not the whole map, just the far right side. This is not all possible spawn locations, but it's very, very difficult because with the naturalist row update, they nerf the uh, the location. So they're not just one set. It's like a number of different things can spawn in these locations. So you probably won't find it. You probably will, but you're going to find something. You have to have the metal detector as well. Here go two locations right here. You just go in these areas. It depends on what cycle you want too. So try to figure out what day you want. But I think this is day cycle one. They go two mode locations. The red markers. You pull out your metal detector and come in these areas. Remember, you may not find them here, but you will find something. But you probably won't find the piece that you're looking for. So if you don't have it, just the hunt you need to go on. This is for day cycle one. I forgot how you figure out what day cycle you are on. But let me move on to the next trinket. The ram horn trinket. Picking certain flowers like wild mint and cripping. It has like two times more you get to pick from it. Very, I really highly suggest you get this. If you guys be cooking and picking flowers. I suggest you get them all. They all help benefit the game. But I'm going to get into the location of your ram horn. And also the possible spawn, poss uh, spawn location for that piece of jewelry that you need. We're going to get into the Snowy Egret Trinket. It's 800 bucks. This one permanently decreased the speed that your horse health and stamina cores drain. Very good one. It's 800 bucks. I'm going to get into where you can find these uh, feathers that you need and also the possible spawn location of your jewelry piece that you need. This is the wrong bird, but the bird you're looking for is in this area. You need three of its feathers. This is the wrong bird I'm picking up, but it's definitely in this area. You got to go up and down this bank a little bit and you will see them, but you need three other feathers.
But this has been the Ron Jen the P. So if you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you found it helpful, drop a like down. And there are time stamps in the description as well that can help you. If you want to refer a friend, you can let them know you can go into the time stamps to start looking around for the animals and the jewelry that you need. And remember, once again, that they nerf the locations of like all the jewelry. So like if you go on one spot and you found it, it's like a possibility that several different items could be there in that one spot for somebody else or just for you. It's a very they got it all randomized and I they nerfed it. But thank you guys for tuning into the channel and staying always to the end of the video. I will catch you guys in the next Reddit Online video.